Hey guys, welcome back. Ever had someone point a camera at you and you're all go shy and you hate having your picture taken? You go, no, no, get away with that thing. Ever looked in the mirror, seen perfection? No. When you look in a mirror, you always see the flaws, you never see the good. When someone takes a picture of you and you go, oh, I don't look good in photos, camera doesn't take a good picture, I'm not very photographable, there's all kinds of excuses, all kinds of stories. Well, this video should help you. I've got nine posing ideas for when you feel shy or embarrassed or you don't think you can get a good picture. And I will show you the female version and the male version of these poses. And this should help you out and get you on the road, maybe to a modeling career. <laughs> Let's get into this one. Everything that I said there, looking in the mirror, seeing problems, don't like that picture, oh, I look terrible in that one. Well, hopefully all this will help you get over that because I have those same issues as well. And YouTube's really helped me get over that by forcing myself to get in front of the lens to create these videos for you guys, especially being an older guy. But hey, we're doing it. So let's get into the first area, the face. Don't like your face, don't like something about your face? Well, why don't we cover it? Covering your face, can create some very interesting photos for both of the genders. And I think you can get some really cool looking images. I mean, look at this guy version. That's pretty cool. And you don't have to be too shy, but your face covered like that, there's not much showing. Now in the female version here, well, that's kind of cool. You've only really kind of got the eyes going on that, and, and that's pretty good. So covering your face, you can create some very interesting looking images without being overly shy or sensitive or hiding the features you don't like. Well, if covering your face doesn't work well enough for you, why don't we just try and hide your face? Like this one in the male version. I mean, you're not even looking at the camera, so there's nothing to be shy about there, is there? Now look at in the female version. Again, you're not looking at the camera, you're not seeing what's going on, and those two photos are pretty cool. Now. You've covered the face and you've hid your face, but you're still not happy with your face. Well, let's do the next best thing and just cut the head off, like in this one. I think that's pretty cool of me with no head. Now, there's nothing to be shy about on that one because we've got no head. We've taken that feature right out of the scenario. All right, how about the female version? Marie Antoinette, here we come. Boom, no head. And very cool image. Very cool. Now, if you don't want to quite go to that extreme and you don't want to cover your face or hide your face because you still kind of like your face, well, why not just look down? Like in this male version of one of the images that I did. So looking down, you can create some very cool and emotional looking images. Check out the female version of this. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be on the beach right now. Well, maybe if the weather was a little warmer, but you can see looking down creates a very interesting image and you're not stressing yourself out because you're not looking at the camera. So you're really not seeing what's going on. So even if someone's photographing you and it's not a self-portrait, then you're not stressed because you're not looking at the camera. Now, we're getting on to the next one, which is number five. What is your best feature? Photograph that. Could be your hands, could be your feet, could be an arm. Whatever your best feature is, why don't you photograph it? Now, here on this one of me, I like my eyes. Lips aren't too bad either, in my opinion. So I photographed my best feature. Now, you might have other parts of your body, like here in this female version, where she thinks her bum is her best feature. And you can see, that's a pretty cool photo. So picking your best feature is another way of creating some very interesting images with the features that you love. Now, why don't we add in some props? That way it's less distracting for you because you've got things to hold, things to play with, things to do with. So we can just add some props in on the set or if you're doing a self-portrait, you can set it up and add some props in. And you can have all kinds of different props. Think of the little story you want to tell, the emotion you want to portray, and add in your props. I mean, this male version one I think is, is pretty cool. And I absolutely love this female version with the little Edwardian picnic. I think it's absolutely beautiful and having all those props in there helps 
distract you from the camera because you've got things to play with, things to do, things to look at. You don't have to stare down the camera lens, which is very cool. Now, we can go to other extremes other than uh, props in, in our number seven, and that is to be shot in the back. And I don't mean literally, but you can shoot yourself in the back. Here I went out to a park and uh, shot myself in the back and tried to make it uh, a little bit creative. It's not the greatest time of year right now because the, uh, the trees aren't out. There's not much for flowers out, but I found kind of a cool little structure and uh, tried to create a little bit of a creative image here. So shot in the back. There's no stress there because I'm not even looking at the camera and I'm not seeing if somebody's pointing the camera at me. So there's no stress involved in that. Uh, now, in the female version again, shot in the back. I mean, look how beautiful that is. And it's kind of telling a story. Going to the beach, having a picnic, fantastic. All right, now, if none of these has suited your needs photographically, why don't we go to number eight? And that is standing far away from the camera. Look at the fun I had with this image. Now, I absolutely love this. It actually only started with me doing the one pose out in the, in the field. Uh, like I say, this time of year, there's not a lot going on, and uh, a lot of areas are shut off you're not supposed to go into. This one was okay, too, and there was no one else there in the park, so it was quite good. But as I started playing with the image, I started getting a bit more of a creative thought when I was out there, so I started doing some other posing. When I came back, we got a little creative in Photoshop, and I ended up with that image, which is very cool. Now, the female version of that is, again, down at the beach. Beautiful gown and a nice little setting. So, you don't have to be right up in front of the lens. You can be far away, a small part of the scene, but you're still telling a story. So, you can create some very, very cool photos. Very cool photos. Now, my ninth idea for you and help you get on your way to your modeling career is you're not the main subject. What? Yeah, that's right. You're not the main subject. My camera is in this image. See, that looks pretty cool. So I'm not so stressed. Well, you're still looking at the lens and you're seeing the camera and the person holding it, but you're not the main subject. For me, the camera is in focus and I'm out of focus. So I can't see any fine wrinkles or any of the fine details because I'm a bit blurry. Now here in the female version, you can see again, she's not the main subject, the perfume is. So you can have different items and do different things where you're not the main subject, but you're in the image as a supporting element to it which is very cool. And as I say, with these nine, nine topics, nine ways to photograph yourself that won't stress you out, will help you get over your shyness, and you can create some amazing photos, whether you want them for your Instagram account, Facebook, or you just simply want to create a nice piece of art for your own wall. These are some ways that you can do it without stressing out of staring down that lens. But that is some very cool little tips and tricks for you that I hope you will have some fun with and create some amazing images. All right. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post new videos. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. So, until the next time.